has been spoken in Ireland for over 2,000 years. The 2006 census for the Irish state reports that 1.6 million of the total population of 4 million can speak Irish and that more than 80,000 people speak the language on a daily basis. In Northern Ireland, it is estimated that some 10% of the population have some proficiency in Irish. While it may be a minority language, the Constitution of Ireland affords Irish special status as a national and official language of the state, along with English. Irish is the only Celtic language that is recognised as an official language of the EU. Irish is a Celtic language and its roots can be traced back, like other Celtic languages, thousands of years. It's Indo-European in origin. Many of the common words we still have in Irish are of Indo-European heritage. Tach, Skade, Re, words like this all come from our Indo-European heritage. Well, with the spread of Christianity to Ireland then, many new loan words and borrowings came in from Latin. Religious terminology especially, words to do with Afrin or Mass or Sagart or Priest, all these words came from Latin. Then, also more importantly perhaps, Irish began to be written in the Roman alphabet in this period. There has been a marked increase in the number of adults interested in the Irish language. <laughs> My name is Vera Orschel. I'm from Germany, from Wiesbaden, which is near Frankfurt. I'm Anna, I'm from Russia, from Moscow. <laughs> Uh, the Gaeltacht has a population of 92,000 people. These areas in seven different counties were statutorily designated by the government having regard to the number of Irish speakers living there. These regions are of great importance as they represent the reservoir of our native language and culture that has survived intact throughout the ages. The preservation and strengthening of the Gaeltacht is a priority for the government. The government provides a range of supports for the promotion of Irish, both in the Gaeltacht and throughout the country. Udras Nagelta was established in 1980, a regional development authority funded by the government to promote the economic, social and cultural development of the Gelta. Its key objective is to maintain the Irish language as a community language. So this policy of working with communities Working with families and working with other agencies is going to be central to the future challenges that Udras and Gelta face. Just as Udras and Gelta has a vital role to play in fostering and promoting Irish in the Gelta, organisations such as the Altach Trust provide valuable support for the Irish language in Northern Ireland. The Altach Trust was set up in 1990. It was the first Irish language organisation in Northern Ireland to receive British government funding, with the specific aim of promoting the Irish language throughout the entire community. Forest na Gaelge is a north-south implementation body that was set up under the Good Friday Agreement to promote and to carry out designated responsibilities regarding the Irish language. The educational system is central to maintaining and revitalising the language and Gaelskolina, the organisation for all Irish medium education, promotes Irish in a positive and inclusive way both north and south. 
The increase in the number of third-level courses available through Irish in various universities throughout the country is a welcome development. Folchstach gudi on tev to hilshin krelon sa er noch de femer vinikert orti e radio no geltchte gudi gmoligen club. Irish has a significant presence in the media, as evidenced by RTE Radio na Gaeltachta, TG Cahir, and other broadcasting services, as well as the print media. I really think that it's important to speak your own language, because every language is a way of thinking, individual and a unique way of thinking. I'm optimistic, and uh, other people are optimistic. Uh, uh, the very fact that there are so many people learning Irish all over the world uh, gives us uh, great uh, encouragement. <laughs>